I've been rooted in this community my whole entire life. We're raising our children here. We want to be safe, just like folks in Lincoln Park. And that Inglewood gets a bad rap. And so we just try to constantly shift that narrative. We didn't get to this place by accident. Decades of policies and practices seeming neutral on their face have had the effect of perpetuating and entrenching this type of economic and racial segregation. I have done community development of the mind for the last eight years just to get people thinking differently. First, we had to kind of shift a psyche, something you couldn't touch, but was here. Our challenge as a civil rights issue is to affect these systems that today continue to produce these kind of inequities, like the Cook County property tax system. Tan, um, nos, nos han aumentado drásticamente los, los taxes de nuestras propiedades. Están evaluando las casas, no sé en qué forma, pero no está siendo el real valor de las propiedades. Muchas personas están dejando sus propiedades porque son muy, muy altos los taxes que se tienen que pagar. If we don't change this system, this is not going to be a city where any working people can stay in. The affordable housing that still exists in our community is the mom and pop owned two flats, three flats, the small buildings that are owned by families. We were hearing these stories from homeowners in our community saying that they were feeling pressure to sell their homes because of the rising property taxes and the salt in the wound was seeing the data coming from the Chicago Tribune report showing that not only were families in our community being displaced because of the increase in property taxes, but that people of color are paying more on average than white counterparts or wealthy neighborhoods. That's when we knew we had to do something about this. So when the Tribune article came out and all the research came out, all of a sudden the lights clicked on for everybody. We were just essentially bandaging the, the wound, but we weren't really solving the underlying problem. We received feedback from people telling us that, you know, we should just wait for the next election cycle. If a new assessor comes along, there's no guarantee that he will be able to change the system. These changes are not going to come out of the goodness of people's hearts. It's going to come through policy change. And so that's what we're hoping to accomplish with this lawsuit. These are groups that, through their members, see the day-to-day -day effects of this type of inequitable system. And our court case and their partnership is an effort to bring the kind of systemic and institutional change that's necessary. We very much value this partnership and are excited to be in this together. This system is going to be changed because of the work of the Chicago Lawyers Committee. So we're really excited to be you know, fighting hand in hand with them. Without them, honestly, we would not have been able to file this court case. Unfair property taxes are a piece of a larger picture. We have a number of different things across the city that force displacement and move working families out of their neighborhoods. When communities boom, your grandkids can't afford to live in the place that you called home. When we talk about displacement, it is more than someone just having to find someplace else to live. We're talking about people's lives being uprooted. We have a couple of tools that we use to really help prevent displacement. The first one that we use is a CBA. So right now we're in Steelworkers Park. This is the largest development in the Midwest. This is going to leave a big footprint. We would like to have a development that benefits a local residents. Community Benefits Agreement, CBA for short, it's a legal written document between the community and the developer. The city gets a written agreement, the contractors get a written agreement, the unions get their written agreement, and community needs one too. I've been in this South Side community three generations. People are eyeing it, but we have to make sure that it's in our benefit and we have to make sure that we protect it. These are the communities that literally built downtown Chicago, and so it's really important that families who have stayed in the community, have grown up in the community, get to stay here. When we look at the CBA campaign, we just had a recent meeting at South Shore Cultural Center. Uh, the dining room was packed. Do you want to go someplace else, or do we want to stay here? The only way we want to get this done is through a CBA. Through these things like the CBAs and community land trusts, and even sort of home ownership programs, we hope to capture some of the long-term benefits as well as help build community wealth. Here I am in a neighborhood that has suffered from decades of disinvestment. It's hard to imagine how exactly to reverse engineer that, but as I like to say, if we can put a man into deep space and bring him back safely, we can do anything. 
The work for economic and racial equity has been core work for the Chicago Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights for 50 years. We need to continue in our efforts to uncover and dismantle the systems that continue to produce these inequities. The challenges are there and, and the work is far from over.